Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you guys can make your first earning in the Zero Build Trios Victory Cash Cup like I did. So the Zero Build Trios Victory Cash Cup is the finals where you can actually make money if you win one out of the three games. You earn 300 bucks, a $100 split between each teammate. And you had to qualify for this in the first round where uh, you have seven games to get top 500 to move on to the finals. I have the video on my uh, opens place in, if you guys want to check that out. But I'm going to be VOD reviewing the game that we won. It was our first game. So anyways, let's get right into the video. So this is our first game where we actually won the game. So let's just deep dive into it. So we're learning at Naughty Nets. Um, it's a pretty good spot. We actually had one team contesting us. So we try to isolate them down here to pick off some free kills. And the zone kind of pulls over to like Anvil to Brutal and Sappy. So let's see what goes on. So nothing really happens in the early game. We'll speed forward. We're just looting up. Um, getting uh, looted up. Getting bubbles. So we have to play end game. So if you guys don't know this meta, you, you're going to need a red eye. A Havoc or a Combat. Bubbles. Quick heals like either um, 6 Splash or 2 Slurps. And then uh, swords. Um, you want to have triple swords for each teammate. So as you can see, we're just looting up. We know that team uh, uh, got out because we got a bounty on them right here. So we're just looting up. Zone's not far away, so we're able to play um, differently and play back a little bit. So with all rotate, th with this zone... Um, since there's a lot of people going to be in Mega City looking at us, we don't want to take a white line rotate. So we opt in for a rotate, um, through, um, the geyser. And then we're going to actually, I'll slow it down for you. I'm, well, uh, we go check for the swords, but we notice that there's one kid down here by himself. So me, Merrick, and Fluger are just going to bounce on this team because, um, we know that they're pretty weak. So actually, Merrick goes in first. He doesn't know there's a kid in first. He actually goes down. So me and um, uh, me and Fluger have to clutch up here. So we killed the one kid that was hiding. The other guy finishes him, which is unfortunate. But I go in and one pump him. And basically, this really didn't stop anything. They had so much bubbles that we were able to just rotate, get the double reboot off, and nothing really happened from there. So we're gonna move on a little bit. We actually hit the geyser and rotate to this uh, drill site, as you guys can see. And we ended up beaming this team, so we wanted to, like, close the fight a little bit and get, like, closer to them to see if we can kill them. So we got on height to see where they were. And, um, I think I'm, I'm able to pick one off here. Um, I think that goes out in the open. So we'll fast forward a little bit. I'm pretty sure, yeah, I killed this kid. So I see this guy in the open. I'm, like, shoot at him. I ended up killing him right here. And I'm like, okay, we just bounce on that because where the zone is, like, we already have to get in. So, might as well get in now and rotate. As you can see, no one's over at this launch red side. So, we're able to just kill this kid and then instantly rotate without no one um, being there. So, we're able to pick up this kill, grab his loot. Like, I'm already sacked for the game. Like, this is loot to win the game. So, I'm, we're just playing for position now. We're going to rotate early and try to get a good spot before anyone else. So, I see that team up there. So, uh, I was a little hesitant on rotating, so I'm like, let's try to mirror their rotate, because I know they're going to hit the launch pad. But we end up seeing this kid in the uh, solo in here, so we just end up killing him. I don't know what he was doing. But yeah, so we end up waiting a little bit, grabbing his loot, and then... We kind of made a mistake here by playing back, but in the long run, it didn't really matter, because look at how much people are rotating now in front of us. That could hold us. So yeah, we're just rotating ahead now. Did not know there was a kid in there, so there's solo hiding there. And we're using I mean, uh, our triple swords to rotate ahead and get a fast rotate. <clears throat> so all of this is just rotating early. You don't want to dead side. Like, all these kids, you don't want to rotate uh, late. You want to rotate early. So we're just getting a free rotate. Nothing really um, you need to know here. It's just we're rotating early through um, center because we know not a lot of people are going to go through this way. We end up getting shot at at Anvil Castle, so we just stay here, wait for our triple swords to come back. And instead of going through there where we could get shot at, we just triple sword around, and then we just keep on rotating. 
So uh, this is just like the rotating game with the new zones. Like rotating is like a big factor. Like you have to position yourself in a great spot, especially with only shield bubbles in your hand. You you want to utilize rotating early and getting a good spot, so you don't have to utilize uh, bubbles and waste bubbles before end game because you're gonna need them to win. Okay, so I'm gonna pause it here. So we lo we saw that Citadel is center zone, and I made the comp to go under to this um, little down arrow of the of the thing because right now no one's gonna be looking over here the only team that will look up would be citadel but they were not making any noise so we did not know that there was a team there and no one else look at no one in the vicinity in the zone like there's maybe five teams in the zone everyone else is in uh storm so we know that if we triple sword we won't get shot at that much and we almost made the mistake because usually if there's a team on height they would shoot at you but with this new victory format i don't think they even wanted to so we were like yo we don't think there's anyone up there so we decided to triple sword up on height but then we see triple we see three kids we're like okay we'll just go back down and in this event we accidentally used the bubble but it's okay we get to the spot that we want to be in which is right under the castle where only two ways to get in is behind you and uh in front of you so we just have a right angle on both of them and basically, this was just a waiting game. I'll fast forward through this because nothing really important happened. We're literally just sitting here the whole time because um, it kept on pulling. So, I'll maybe skip through right over here. Nope, that's just the same. But yeah, look at like The zone is just centering itself around Citadel. So, like, we had very easy rotate since we rotated early. And play this spot so as you can see like we just kept on pulling zone and no we're never gonna die and all these kids are dying because they're rotating late and since we got to the position first they can't get it and we're just chilling so i think after this zone we don't pull and i'm pretty sure we go for a rotate yeah so we're going for a rotate pretty soon here so uh we had two main objectives we wanted to get like the edge of here if you can see my cursor or back around here but we probably knew there was going to team here so this was one of our mistakes in the in the game that we won so we waited we waited um and then we sorted together so i don't know if there was a miscom but merrick decided to go up here in bubble and i did not know that i went with fluga and we played over here in bubble and this ultimately led down to Mayor getting killed by a different team. And then me and Fluger had to play as a duo. So I eventually get back to Fluger. He's in a pretty good spot. But since we use a lot of bubbles, we needed to find a little refresh here. So I'm starting to look around and see if I can find some bubbles. I get this kill in zone, but I don't get his loot. I'm like, these kids are fighting. Look at them. And then I ultimately throw another bubble because I see more bubbles. And I get the bubbles back. I see this team. I beam them. And... Uh, right now we got we got loot to win the game even though we're a duo if we play this right we get to win this game so I throw another bubble because we don't want to rotate yet um, As you can see the zone pulls over like to this area and we're not in So we don't want to waste too much bubbles and Fluga f uh, finds the idea to go under this team So we're gonna sword under and play this backside There's a little ridge here where you can't see it So we threw a bubble down and we noticed the team's fighting in trees with the zero build meta, a lot of people like to play trees if they run out of bubbles or just to save bubbles. So check your trees if you're playing in the no build caps. There might be a team in there or you could play in there. So right now we're chilling. The only team we have to worry about is the team behind us. But I, I will go for the call since it's a moving zone. This patch is opening up and I'm like, yo, 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 play up here. No one can look at us besides this team, but they're in a tree. And I want to be like the big dog and act like this team doesn't want to play us. So I kept on shooting on them. And make them waste bubbles so they don't want to pressure us. I did some good damage there. And we just... I pop a slip. Notice that there's team in this bush. So I just shoot at them. Um, I always... I always... Once this bubble runs out, I always try to shoot at them. So they don't try to bubble and fight us. And kill us. Because they don't know we're a duo yet. And I see this guy in the tree. And I just get a little kill here. But yeah, so I see them... Notice the bubble's going on. And I'm like, okay, let's just get some few tags. Let them waste another bubble. And they did. And, and I'm just playing here. Zone pulls. We have to wait for all these teams to rotate. They're fighting. They're griefing everyone. But I'm still looking at our major, um, like, big guy that could take us out. Is this team right here. If they bubble towards us and fight us, 
we'll probably dead. So I'm just w waiting for them to shoot, throw a bubble, and then a stop, and then look around. So they end up getting a nice hit on me very soon here. Zemi goes up on the top end and gets a good shot. So I ultimately have to throw a bubble and pop a slurp. And this is where um, we fall down on the edge of the mountain where no one is. Um, we know that there's a team right here, but if you could play right here, no one can see you. And that's what we do. We just wait it out. Wait it. I have no heals, no bubbles. So this was a tough win to make. Flugu had six, five chugs. So I'm like, yo, let's play zone. Pop these two slurps and we'll go sword up on height later. And they, they started fighting and we waited out. We waited till they killed somebody. I think once they both killed them, we went in right now. Yep. And I sorted on Zemi. I killed him. And then I was like, you flew you get to me. And he got to me. I got some shots on Billy. Uh, Prospin came up as a solo. Cracked him. He's 1 HP. Bully comes up. And then it was just GG's from that point on. So, yeah. If you guys want to get your first earnings, remember to prioritize rotations. Have a good loadout. And um, don't always try to 50-50 if you don't have to. Use trees and uh, different line of sights, natural line of sights, so you don't have to use bubbles. Get to power positions early. And be uh, confident and shoot kids out so they sort and not you. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys drop a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.